In this video, I'm going to continue showing how easy it is to file content into the IM index folders using the MindMap interface. Again, what I'm showing here applies equally to the Map Edition of the product and to the Pro Edition because the reference section here is identical for both products. And in this video, I'm going to store content under the niches and the repositories topics. As before, we start by opening the in folder and here are the remaining files that need to be stored away. I will start with ready-made credit card headers. <coughs> so I'll right click and cut. So these are header graphics relating to the credit card niche. So I'll open up the niche topics. Here we have the list of 20 or so top level niches and there we see the folders associated with each of them and in fact against each of those is some guidance instructions obviously the is uh, some filing guidance obviously the filing guidance doesn't appear in the uh, IMI folders on their own this only appears when you've got the IM organizer map so we've got credit card header graphics uh, there isn't a topic for credit cards but the closest seems to be finance so we'll look at the filing guidance and the convention for the filing guidance is that anything in black is a niche or a sub niche of the parent so bankruptcy credit credit cards debt relief estate plan trusts they're all valid sub niches of the finance niche. It's not saying they're the only sub-niches, sub but they're some common ones. And indeed we see that credit cards appears in here, so we are sh uh, quite sure that this is where we should store our header graphics for the credit card niche. So I'll open the folder, right click, and paste. Mm -hmm. It's taking its time. There it is, ready-made credit card headers. Go back to the mind map, sorry, uh, and yes, mind map, open the in folder again. <coughs> Look at our next file, which is uh, keywords. I use the convention, I haven't used it consistently in these examples, but generally I use the convention to put the type of content as a code in front of the file name. So KW for keywords, EBK for ebooks, AR for autoresponder uh, messages. If I was being consistent, this file would begin with TPL for templates. So I know that this is now uh, keywords for the home equity niche. So I will right click and cut. Back to the mind map. Home equity. Again, uh, we've got home and garden. That doesn't sound right. It sounds like it's probably going to be finance. So I'll look again for my filing advice and home equity doesn't appear directly but I've got things like mutual uh, loans personal finance taxes wealth building so common sense tells me that home equity is a pretty good place uh, to store that would be finance so that's what I'm going to decide so this is an example where the particular sub niche doesn't appear but you can use obviously your own common sense and by putting things in the right niches you begin to gather together all your content related to a particular niche from whatever sources that content may arise so already I'm beginning to see well I've got the beginnings of uh, a niche which I might want to call personal finance where I can have information about credit cards home equity and later on I might find other content related to personal finance but I wouldn't know that I've got all that related content unless I stored it in the right place back to the in folder and I've got uh, my last piece of content related to niches is this Forex niche newsletters Forex so these are autoresponder or newsletter articles for the forex niche and I will cut that back to my niches 
And again, looking through it possibly finance yet again. Let's have a look. Uh, look through the list of topics, sub possible sub niches. In fact, we see forex listed, but it's not in black; it's in orange, and it's saying that the recommended place to store forex niche content is under the making money niche. So that's what I'll do. I'll follow the advice. I can click on that link and you see on the left that the topic has now changed to the making money topic and the notes have changed uh, to the notes associated with that topic and indeed there is Forex in black saying that this is a valid sub niche of the making money niche. So I'll open the folder for making money right click paste and computer's being a little bit slow. There we are, the file is stored in the right place now. Back to the in folder, just a couple more files left. Um, this is an, uh, for ebooks, for PLR reports on, well it doesn't tell us what niche they're in. So I have two choices here, uh, well three choices I guess. One is to unpack this zip folder, look to see what each of those reports is about, and then file uh, the resulting uh, sort of component of this zip in the appropriate topic within the mind map. Now, that might be one of my niches, it might be a subtopic of internet marketing, it could go almost anywhere. So I, I could break it out, uh, or I could say no, I just want to keep them together store them all under my ebooks repository which I'll show you in a moment or indeed I could do both and sometimes the best solution is to do both just depending on how you intend to use the content but uh, for this example I'm not going to open up the, the the zip folder I'm just going to store this all away in the ebook repository so I cut the file I can close down niches. Now I look in repositories. And repositories, as I said before, the place where you store content that doesn't belong to any particular niche. It, it relates to multiple niches or multiple topics within internet marketing. And here are the list of repositories. Uh, here are the folders. Again, there is filing advice for each of them. Usually it's straightforward, but there are cases where things aren't that straightforward and the filing advice really can be very helpful. In this case it is straightforward. We've got PLR reports, which are effectively ebooks. So I'm going to open up that folder, right click and paste, and my file gets moved into the right place. There it is and back to the in folder one last document left to file away video opt-in templates so these are templates obviously for their opt-in for opt-in pages but with the use of a video and there's my template repository i'm going to put the templates here other places where you might think they should go, uh, there's a, a internet video topic under the A to Z of internet marketing. Uh, there's also templates under internet marketing, A to Z of internet marketing. Uh, but none of those are really repositories, and the best place to store them is in the repositories section. So that's what I'm going to do. And if you look at the filing advice, that explains the reasoning for putting them, thing, for putting them here as opposed to elsewhere. So there we are, we've got the last file stored away, and that completes guidance on how to store content into the reference section of your uh, folders using the mind map, either the Organizer Map or Organizer Pro. Thanks for your time.